Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial I want to teach you how to loft surfaces or create lofted surfaces. The easiest way to do that is to select two or more curves and then create a surface. You can see here that I have this, these curves that create something that looks like a futuristic spaceship or airplane, maybe a glider. I don't really know what it is but uh, I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. To create the wings, for example, I am going to select this curve and this curve, and you can see that when I select more than one, uh, these curves turn to this yellow color, this yellow-orange color. That means I can create a surface. I'm going to come over and tap Create Surface, and I have now created a lofted surface. You'll notice that at the end of this surface, the line is totally straight, You'll also notice that this surface is pretty much flat. It's an average between the shapes of each curve. So I can't edit the surface. I can't edit this, this edge here or this edge here. It basically is just stretched between the two curves. Imagine kind of stretching a piece of fabric between the two curves. You'll get something like that. In addition to this, if I edit either one of these curves, if I select this curve, for example, and I go into the edit mode, if I move any of the control points, then you'll notice that when I'm done, that'll completely change the surface that I created. Now, if you want a more complex surface, still kind of using the lofted technique, you can achieve that with more than two curves. So we're going to come over here to the cockpit area and I'll show you that I can create a lofted surface between these two curves. So I'm going to select those two curves and create a lofted surface. But you'll notice that there's no profile, there's no curve here. That the profile of this surface is straight. It's pretty much flat. It's basically again just being stretched between these two curves. But I can change that using this curve here, that kind of the back of the, the cockpit area. So I'm going to select this curve, I'm going to select this curve, and then this one here. And you'll notice that they're all this yellow-orange color, meaning I can create a surface. In addition to this, they're closed. What a closed shape means is that at the intersections, at the, at the points where the curves intersect, they are touching. So it creates a closed shape. So all three of these intersections here are touching, the curves are touching the endpoints, meaning that I can create a surface. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you'll see that instead of being flat, I now have this kind of curvature to the overall shape. Now I can come in and continue doing that. I'm going to make a lofted surface here on the back. And if I just select those two curves, again, I'll get the same thing. I'll get something that's just kind of an average, but the profile is flat. Well, let's do the technique where I take this curve here and you'll see that I've selected those three curves, but we have an issue. They are not orange and I don't have the option to create a surface. That's because these three curves don't create a closed shape. You can see that one ends here, the other one ends here, and this one is all the way over here. I need to close this shape off. I'm going to select this fourth curve like that, and the minute I do that, we have a closed shape, and I can create a complex surface. Create surface, and now we have a bit more of a complex surface, and that is basically how you create lofted surfaces from two curves, three curves, and four curves. I hope this tutorial was helpful and useful for you. If you have any feedback or questions for us, feel free to let us know on our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter channels. And we can't wait to see what you create and you make. Have a great day, guys, and take care.